In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with the PowerShell Universal Visual Studio Code extension. This extension makes it easier to work with local and remote instances of PowerShell Universal so you can edit the PowerShell Universal scripts directly in Visual Studio Code. Uh, you can install this extension from the Visual Studio Code Marketplace or, and that is available directly inside VS Code. So if you just search for uh, PowerShell Universal and then install this particular uh, extension, you'll have um, some new features available for PowerShell Universal. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to start my PowerShell Universal server. So I actually have the Universal module installed and you'll see that this command line at the bottom is calling start PSU server. Uh, it's pointing to the server executable path, uh, which can be installed wherever you like. And then it's going to uh, start this on port 5000. So when I do this, you'll see that uh, PowerShell Universal will start up in a separate window here. And as soon as it says that hosting has started, uh, you can start to work with um, the server itself. So on the left hand side here, after you install the PowerShell Universal extension, you're going to have this PowerShell Universal activity pane. When I click that, it's actually going to go out and communicate with the PowerShell Universal server. And you're going to see this little pop up in the bottom left corner here saying that it connected to PowerShell Universal. The reason it was able to do that um, automatically was because I am listening on port 5000, which is our default port. Um, if you do not have this running on 5000 or you're using alternate credentials, uh, it's not going to automatically connect and you're going to have to configure that yourself. So if you do want to configure that yourself, what you can do is you can actually open up the um, PowerShell Universal uh, API or um, admin console, log in with admin and any password. And then from there, what you'll need to do is click Settings, Security, App Tokens, and generate a new app token. Click Copy, and then go back to uh, the PowerShell Universal, um, or well, Visual Studio Code uh, instance running the PowerShell Universal extension. Uh, and if you hit Control Shift P, you can actually open this Settings dialog. And if you go to Extensions, and then Universal, you'll see that there's a bunch of different options here we can set for Universal. The first one is the app token. So that is the token that is used to communicate with the PowerShell Universal um, server. So you'll need a valid app token so that we can query things like APIs and dashboards and that kind of thing. Uh, the other thing that you can uh, edit in here is URL. So if you're not listening on the default port of 5000 or you want to communicate with a uh, remote version of or instance of PowerShell Universal, you can configure that here. So once that's configured, what you're going to see in the left hand side here is that I'm going to start to see resources available for my PowerShell Universal instance. If you have a fresh instance, you're not going to see some of these. Uh, what you will see are um, these configuration endpoints. So for example, if you wanted to uh, manage some information about dashboards, you can click um, this button here to open a file um, and edit that directly inside here. So uh, as you make changes, if you're using the, um, the kind of remote editing via the REST API, what it's going to do is it's actually going to push these changes back to um, the PowerShell Universal server and update that server accordingly. Uh, what the other thing that you can do is in the settings there is also a setting to edit the files locally. So we have local editing, which instead of using the REST API, it's actually going to locally open that file if you're running um, PowerShell Universal on the current machine. So you'll have access to pretty much all different types of uh, resources that we have inside PowerShell Universal via configuration files. Uh, you can also do things like view logs and debug the um, PowerShell Universal process um, and that kind of thing. So there's a bunch of handy little tools here available for PowerShell Universal developers. We also have um, samples, so you can actually uh, check out some of these samples and um, it will allow you to see um, some examples of some things that you can do with PowerShell Universal if you're just getting started. Um, and finally, uh, there are some helpful information links such as documentation, forums, support, and pricing for PowerShell Universal. So in this video, we went over how to get started with the PowerShell Universal uh, Visual Studio Code extension.